So let's understand uh, this time about Azure Key Vault. Azure Key Vault is a service uh, which is provided by Azure to store secrets, certificates, any sensitive data. So when we try to log in into virtual machines of certain specific uh, organization of yours or uh, any organization as such, or we are trying to log into a database or we wanted to retrieve some service principal uh, secrets like the previous video which you have seen all this kind of sensitive data of some uh, which are mostly the credential certificates and everything are stored in a uh, key vault and key vault is a secret management solution which is provided by Azure. now let's see how we can create and how we can store our service principal uh, secret in this key vault so when you create a uh, key vault here uh, you have to provide your resource group as usual and here you have to provide a unique uh, vault name and it will validate whether that existing vault name is there or not and in which region you want it to create you can go for a standard or a premium so premium will help in terms of providing extra features in uh, which can uh, store HSM back keys and everything. Now you don't have an option to enable, uh, disable your soft delete here through portal. And you can mention how many days you wanted to retain the minimum number of days, uh, even after the key vault has been deleted uh, is seven. And if you wanted to enable purge protection, so whenever any, uh, uh, any the secrets or anything was data was being deleted uh, the secrets or the certificates and everything do you want it to have a soft uh, copy of that so it's a mandatory uh, uh, if you wanted to provide purge protection you have uh, you can do it but as of now as a demo purpose we are not enabling the purge protection here and you can go and create an key vault here just clicking on create and once the key vault has been created you will be seeing a key vault just like this now if you have created it uh, by default you will be the owner so if you can go into access policies by default i'll be the owner here but if you want it uh, if someone has created it you would not be in a position to access the key vault and some that owner who has created it should be explicitly going and proving the access uh, so here this is where I guess so only once you have the access you can actually read or, uh, or create secrets or uh, delete anything of such sort any perform action uh, any per uh, uh, operations you wanted to perform on a key vault only can happen once you have the access so there are different types of accesses when we go into this access policies and everything but let's go and go into right now storing the secrets uh, so here we can actually uh, go for a certificate or a manual just a text so i'm going to mention here uh, app secret and i was trying to log in with the uh, application service principal app registration which was registered in uh, azure ad through azure ad and i can set an activation date or then i can set an uh, expiration date if i wanted otherwise by default it will be enabled a secret got created and this is how you store the secret now if you wanted to retrieve this secret uh, using uh, powershell and everything so the you have to use the uh, commands like get hyphen a key vault uh, secret and everything so in the next video we're we'll going to show you how you can retrieve a secret from a key vault using powershell thank you